I just spent a few hours studying for psychology. It's now 2.30 a.m. and I think that's right around, I don't even know, maybe around 11 p.m. Cause also like I did take like multiple breaks or like just um, like quick breaks to use my phone or whatever. But it's only 2.30 and I'm done. I'm like, you give me the quiz right now. Like I could answer that whole like they split, you feel me? But I prefer to do myself like um, pen and paper. So I have a bunch of note cards. I also color coded them to make them cute, like to keep myself entertained. But I feel like you could hand me the quiz right now and that I'll do pretty good. I was in psychology class, did we learn that about how important like sleep is in order to like help you remember stuff? Like sleep helps bridge the gap from like when you're studying. So yep, like once I sleep, like I wake up, like I have unstoppable basically. So at this point, I guess it's basically Saturday. I'll spend Saturday working on the exam that'll be on Tuesday, which is the Girls Human Anatomy one. For one thing, I was just filling my notes in that class, because I was falling asleep last time we had that class. I don't know what happened during the last, I don't know, like 20 minutes-ish. I was falling asleep. I don't know how obvious it is when people are falling asleep in class, because I'm trying to fight it. So like, you know, I'm looking tired, obviously. Head is like trying to, head is like going back and forth a little. But like when it really falls like that or that, I don't really wake up. So like, I'll go and like I'll start to like nod off again soon, but it's just like that jerks me awake a little. Like, let me show you all my setup. Like once I stack these together, it's gonna like really add up. But I'm gonna head off to bed soon. I just sit weirdly in general. So I'm gonna like fix myself. As you can tell by my voice, I am tired. But at least I'm glad that I was able to get like basically everything done for psychology today because like early on I was going to get tired so I was like okay I'll do like everything else tomorrow but girl but I'm glad that I was able to like work with here and get everything done and like I can still recall like whatever like what he's associated with what this does and like these stuff like I'm doing pretty swell. See I thought of all my note cards this could be like 50 because this is 100 right but this could be like 50 amazing. But I'm gonna like probably signific significantly reduce how many more clips I record like during this upcoming week because of, because of all the studying that I've been doing stuff. So yeah, but I'm more to listen to music as I like I like to hang things up and go to bed. It's Saturday. I guess now it's basically Sunday because it's 2 a.m. Long story short, Saturday. And why the today? Well, from the last time I spoke to you guys, let me think. I think like a little bit of um studying, just like a little bit maybe the 20 minutes and i left to go to work work was you know good i guess then when i came back i i put in the work like i finished taking notes for this um topic this is for girls human anatomy by the way i finished taking notes and like i did not remember the, the professor teaching us that stuff because i was long asleep during like that last 30 minutes or whatever of class so i did not remember i was like huh the familiar stuff because um it's like the heart and the blood and the circulatory system and i learned that um last semester like in depth to serve for almost like a review so i just need to like jog up my memory again i was able to finish taking notes yes and then i went back to look at the learning objectives because those really help with studying because stuff like oh you should be able to identify and name like this or whatever so yeah, I went back to photos so because I can look back at it and be able to study it anytime or just like quiz myself anytime. And I also took some photos of like diagrams. So, yeah, I take um you know handwritten notes so I can like draw out like you know the diagrams and stuff and like be able to understand it. So I just took photos of that. I'm not like completely done with that, but like I took a few photos. And while I can answer some of the um the questions, what are they called? Learning objective questions, especially like the most recent ones. I have to like really go back to the beginning and start mini exam too. Oh, you said I'm trying to study for like, I mean, it's not bad this time. It's like a couple of pages, maybe not less than 10 pages, I think. It's not bad, it's not too thick, not too crazy. But my plan is 2 a.m. basically. So I, like I should sleep soon, ideally. And I haven't even made note cards for this yet. However, I just want to um like read my notes from the beginning not the beginning beginning but from the start of this exam for this upcoming exam to like whatever i just finished today so i could just have it like all in my head and like connect it and like tomorrow i mean it's basically tomorrow already that's when i'll go somewhere private or by myself so i can have so i can be comfortable to just speak out loud because for one thing when i'm learning complicated stuff like this i guess not complicated complicated but with stuff like this it like it really helps me 
to um, speak out loud and just connect stuff and say and just say it verbally. Like that just really helps me. Like these past videos, I've been in um, like study places with other people, so I can freely speak out loud and just be like, okay, school drunk teachers. No. So yeah, like tomorrow's when I'm gonna be happy because I definitely have that private space and I can just speak out loud about what's going on and like connect the ideas and be able to apply and other stuff. And yeah. All right, so it's almost 7 p.m. and I've been here like in this study area since maybe I don't know like. 3 p.m. ish. I've been here for a few hours, but when I came here, there was already someone here, and there's also someone like the floor up below, so I couldn't go there either. I mean, I kind of went there for a few minutes. I was like, yeah, downstairs there's like there were like three people at the time, so I said, like, let me go up to the place where I only saw one person. So I did, and like homeboy, like respectfully, like he was cool. Like, you know, he wasn't being disrespectful. He wasn't being noisy or anything. But just like I wanted to have the freedom, the space to like talk out loud and like listen to stuff without having to wear airpods i mean yeah technically like, i could do that but like i'm too self-conscious to actually do it but he finally recently left like he, he has also been here for a while because he was here before me like i didn't know that other people knew about this place i thought that maybe i happened to be like one of few and that i found like my guaranteed place but even though i still saw people today like i'll still continue to come back to this place because you know like it's cool it's close to my dorm and overall like a good place overall I actually did get some studying done and get some, I guess, like, and I guess revelations because, like, as I read in, like, the, the things, like, clicked and connected, I was like, oh, that makes sense. Like, oh, now I understand. So, yeah. But it's going to feel, like, dark outside. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, but, like, it's dark. And I'm probably going to leave from here around 8 or like, a little past 8. The problem is that once I leave here, the door is automatically locked at, like, 5 p.m. So like once I leave here, I can't come back. So it's like I need to take advantage of my time here. I'm leaving like maybe around 8.30 to go grab a bite. And then I head back to my dorm building. But so far as I'm studying, I'm thinking like, do I really need to know all of this? Like that's what I think of like whenever I have to study for something. I'm like, do I really need to know all of that? But also like quizzes, like college exams, like anything is fair game. Like you can expect anything. So you gotta get that all around general knowledge. You can't just focus on one thing and forget something get that all around knowledge because they'll really boom you with some question and then you'll be like oh i remember studying for that. like oh i didn't study for that but i remember seeing it in like the book or whatever no that's how i miss like high school quizzes because for high school they would, li they would literally tell you what you actually needed to know they even give you a study guide that was basically what the exam was and i remember that for math statistics to be specific um she would basically give us like a practice quiz that was basically the same as the actual quiz just like with different numbers so if you could do that you can def you could definitely do the actual quiz but now in college anything is fair game so you just have to study everything get that in-depth knowledge and be able to apply it all right i'm finally done reviewing for human anatomy um i wouldn't say that i'll feel like super confident if i were to get a quiz right now because i haven't even made no cards or like I mean, I've looked at the learning objectives again and, and asked myself the questions, and for the most part, I can answer them. But I don't know if it's just me, but for science quizzes, the, even if it was open note, which is not, but even if it was open note, they always hit me with some kind of question that I still wouldn't be answered, even if I had my notes in front of me. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to apply that real world knowledge, but I have a struggle sometimes. But I'm glad I finally got to finish it. It's 2 a.m. Um, my first class starts at 125, that's the psychology class that I have the quiz in. I imagine that I'll wake up like around 11, maybe even 12 at the latest. So I can like study beforehand for that. And even like before I sleep tonight, I just want to like review the psychology flashcards. So it's not like all my studying is done like, you know, like an hour before the quiz or whatever. But anyways, um, I'm supposed to watch this like, this, uh, uh, Ooh, I'm supposed to watch an episode from a TV show for my writing class tomorrow, so that's what I'm going to close my day with. I think the episode's like 40 minutes. It means that maybe I should like, expect to sleep around 3 o'clock. So yeah, I'm going to watch the TV show to wind down. And I'm going to show you all my setup. I have my laptop. I have my water bottle. I finished it today, then like I refilled it. Like I'm making progress with drinking my water, especially since now I can actually see like how much water it holds. And then like I have the measurements, that's cool. I have my notes in front of me. I always color code them to keep stuff entertaining. 
It's 2 p.m. I mean 2 a.m. We woo we and I'm currently like drafting an email to my writing professor despite like the odd hour because I'm asking for an extension on like this thesis statement. Writing professors tend to be nice and understanding and they told us to like hit us to hit them up with the um with any questions or concerns. I'm like, yeah. Cause you know how to do that my teachers and my other professors all boomed me with four midterms this week yeah i kind of pushed like this writing assignment to the back so uh so my email is almost done it's basically me being like yeah like hey sorry for the late email can you give me like an extra day please obviously that's not why i actually wrote i'm having trouble speaking because it's late at night and i haven't spoken in a hot minute i'm not sure i'm just asking for an extension but it's also because the blackboard doesn't notify you like when something new is posted or when someone comments on your stuff because the assignment was on Blackboard, like the beginning of it. And then she and then she wrote feedback, but I thought I was getting a notification. So I didn't check until then. But then I decided to finally check like Friday night. And I thought that it, there was indeed like a comment from four days ago. I was like, oh, whoops. This is something that I'll forever say, but it's like always so weird being up really late at night. Like, you know, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. when no one else is awake. I mean, I guess I could get that same experience by waking up super early, like, I don't know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., even 7 a.m. Like, maybe next year once I get my single room and I'm in there, then maybe I'll do that. But for now, I'm going to have to deal with, like, the nighttime. The problem is getting hungry. And the dining hall's closed at 10, either 9 or 10, or either 9 or, or 10 o'clock, depending on the day. Like, weekends, 9 o'clock. Weekdays, 10 o'clock. So it means, also, I don't have, um, like much food and then i'm gonna get hungry you feel me and then i start to wake up early instead of staying up late you know at least there'll be food somewhere i guess because i know the only place open now 7-eleven that's basically it and i have a couple of snacks in my room and like with me but like i don't know something i'm craving unless i'm like really hungry to the point where i'll eat anything but anyway it's 3 a.m i finished watching the show for class and now i'm basically packing up also like before i head off to bed i just want to um at least reveal a couple of these like i'm not gonna reveal all of the note cards because that's too much it was this maybe 50 i don't know how long that'll take i just want to like review a few of them not, nothing too crazy and then i'll head off to bed i'm not even like tired tired but like i don't want to get into the habit of staying up like till 3 a.m on the daily because you know i have the, i have earlier classes um most of the time like you know 10 a.m 11 a.m so yeah i'm trying to get my sleep like you can see how tired i am golly i am awfully chill for someone who's an exam psychology exam in about 25 minutes most of it is open i'm like, not open ended it's on multiple choice that makes it like way better i've heard mixed reviews about studying at the last minute some people say like you know yes study at the last minute so you can like you know reassure your mind just review well i just say no because you might realize something that you didn't study for the entire time and just like trust your mind or something but i'm like study at the last minute because sometimes i have like these um like last minute does i'm i'm like man if i had looked at like my flashcards or my notebook before then i most likely wouldn't be having these questions so um, I'm gonna go eat beforehand. I'm, I'm trying to get to class early that way I can have like some time to review the ones that I still have questions on. I can review while studying. I mean, I can review while I'm eating. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm in a different classroom now, and it's been a few hours since my last clip or whatever. But different classroom, and I have access to the boards or chalkboards, but better than no board, I guess. But I've been chilling like life is sweet. Like I don't have an exam tomorrow. So now that I have the board in front of me, I can like really draw stuff out and I like, guess connect ideas and just make sure that I can answer the course objectives and the questions and that kind of stuff. I did get my psychology test results back already, 9 out of 100. I don't know exactly which ones I got wrong because they showed me like the Scantron sheet and like which ones I got wrong, but I don't know like exactly which question it was. But 9 out of 100, pretty darn good, you feel me? I don't know if the teacher will even release, like, the mean, median, average, that kind of part, like, after the quiz or whatever, but, you know, good, like, comparison. I know that I shouldn't compare myself to others, because, you know, comparison is a theory, is a theory of joy, but I'm just curious how I did it relative to my fellow classmates. It's, like, 8.30, so I should lock in and actually really study, because my next class... Like, my class I have the exam for, Human Anatomy, it's at 11, 
a.m. tomorrow and I'm not gonna wake up earlier than that to study so all of my studying will be done tonight let me show you all how I study so right here I have um like we have some practice questions posted on blackboard so I'm using that and I'm like I'm talking it out and drawing it out on the board I ran around the pulmonary system so just being able to hash it out out loud and being able to hear myself think that helps me I mean obviously I can do that on the quiz but since I have the space to do so right here I'm taking advantage so I'm also like I stand with the most weirdest poses like I'm out here standing like this oh yep this is basically how I study if possible I also read the questions out loud the doctor takes note of David's high blood troponin levels and orders an angiogram to search for plaque in vessels. Which of the following vessels do you suspect the technician will find an occlusion in? And there are options for options of this multiple choice. And then over here, I also wrote down like why you to focus on. Because for one of the questions, the answers have to do with like pulmonary artery or pulmonary vein. I'm like, what even? Like it's it's familiar, but I don't know where it's located. I kind of draw the heart, right? Like the right side, the left side. I know that the artery is over here. I'm like, where does the pulmonary artery fit? I know arteries should be away from the heart, but pulmonary. Remember that there was an exception. That might have been the word pulmonary. Like, oh, if it's pulmonary artery, it's like leading to the heart or something. I don't remember. So I'm like, I need to write it down so I remember to look back at it. But even before I'm done with these questions, before I look at the answers, I'm gonna look at my notebook and then like see if I want to change any um, questions, answers, and really to solidify my understanding. Also in the way that like, these questions, since they're all connected, it's like a case study. Since they're all connected, it means I can use one to help me with the other. But I feel like my first question, like the first answer, that might have been wrong. But like, we'll see. I'll try to do it by myself first and I'll look at my notes and I'll change any answers if need be. Then I'll check like the answers because the correct answers have been posted. Yeah. I don't even know what an occlusion is. Is that like a hole or something? Is there, wait, so the, so the doctor is searching for plaque in the vessels. And now they're asking me which of the following vessel, vessels do you suspect the technician will find an occlusion in? Dog. Um. Y'all yeah, need to turn off the camera because I'm just getting, I'm like, what? And we're not need to see me struggle like that, okay? I finished the eight questions and they really threw me in for a loop. So now I'm just I'm looking through my notes to see if I want to change my answers. Can you make sure you let it for me? Yep. Thank you. I try to justify my answer whether I want to keep it the same or if I want to change it. That's what I'm doing right now. Because I first of all, like, oh, your first answer is the correct one, so you shouldn't change it. But so I try to justify my answer, like, every time I run, whether I'm keeping it the same or I'm changing it. These pants are bothering me, how, they, how they're loose, how they're falling down, how you decide on to wear a belt. Honestly, it's maybe one of those questions where, like, even if I had my nose in front of me, I, I still don't know the answer. Like, I have to Google it up. Dog, even with my notes... I only got three out of six questions right, so we know what I need to do. I need to study, but I should go eat soon because the dining halls are going to close in about 20 minutes. And even if you come in like pretty close to closing, there's not going to be much food left. So yeah, I'm going to leave, um, go eat, and I'm, I'm going to try and come back find an empty classroom again and um, do some more studying because, ooh wee. I have come to the conclusion that I need to make flashcards for this class. It's a little past 10 p.m. The class is at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So, yep, I'm going to be making flashcards. Because I'm looking at the practice questions, and the terms are really familiar, but I'm like, where is it located, or like, what does it do? So flashcards need to be made. Like, for the last exam for that class, I made flashcards. Did pretty good. I just need to make flashcards again, despite my limited time, and do pretty good again. I got some snacks. This is like my favorite flavor, the blue one. I, I call flavors by their colors. I just call it the blue one. And I also have another drink. Whatever this is. Like the cinnamon part is very strong. Like it doesn't mention it like right away over here. So I didn't know. Cinnamon is also my favorite thing, but it's also like not bad. Just like I would have preferred to have known. Cause that kind of reminds me of almost like um, pancake batter, if that makes sense. It's like some kind of like cinnamon pancake batter and I'm not quite messing with it, but it's not bad, like I can finish it. But yep. The dining hall's closed at 10 o'clock, so that's why I have my snacks with me. Because you know, I'm gonna get hungry as I stay up late to study and I need that energy to continue to study. I'm just gonna make I'm gonna bang off some flashcards. Uh, these are my flashcards from, from psychology. I'm not sure if I'll get rid of them just yet. 
or so I'll just keep it. And maybe at the end of the school year, I can look at how many um, flash cards I use and shit. I don't know. But yeah, you can get this done to be able to focus, lock in, peep game, get them, have that motivation. Maybe since it's late at night, not like late, late at night. Because like the late night motivation for me personally kicks in like more so around like, um, like 2 a.m. ish, 3 a.m. even, like 1, 2 a.m. So I'm just hoping that like some form of motivation will kick in. But I need to get this done. I need to get a higher grade than last time. Do great. All right, it's 4.30 a.m. And I have to wake up at like 10.20 tomorrow for my 11 o'clock class. That's the class where I have the quiz exam, human anatomy. Keep walking around. Let me stop walking around. Let me put my backpack down because that's hurting my back and I can really feel it. But anyways, I made flashcards for that. Because I made flashcards and it's been on for like a couple of hours. They really did come in clutch, but when I was looking at like um the practice questions that were posted, I was like, no, you guys got me all types of fucked up because I looked at it. Even if I had my notes right in front of me, like I could barely solve this. But I'm pretty like at this point, I'm basically leaving it up to God to like whoever I just studied for. But this one looking at maybe like less than six hours of sleep. Whoops. I'm gonna take a mean nap later on. But I also have someone who's also down in, in the same study lounge as me studying. And we both was around the same time. So I don't know what time her class starts tomorrow. I guess we'll snap today, but I also wish good luck to her. But I left first, so yeah. But my laptop died and I didn't bring my charger with me. So I have to basically go off based on what I have on my phone, note card, and um, notebook. Once I get back, I need to charge my laptop and before I sleep, I want to look at like a diagram because the part of the practice questions was like being able to live stuff on diagrams. I'm hoping that we'll get like a word bank because if you ask me to um, come up with these muscle terms off the top of my head, I mean, depending on like what kind of muscles exactly, but for most of them, coming, coming up with it off, off the top of my head is crazy. Like while I memorize... I'm trying to come up with an example even. I can remember some of them like, like Latissa Miss Darcy, traps, you know, trapezoids, because they're like the really common ones I hear about like the gym or from people who are bodybuilding. But yeah, they're one when they're talking about them deep neck muscles, like the oblique or something. I'm like, just, I'm just hoping that once it's on the quiz, it'll be like the easy ones that I actually do know. Or at least we'll get word bank to make it easier. I thought we're fairing along. I took off my contacts already. Like going from a long day to take off my contacts and then looking around makes me realize how bad my eyesight is. Whoops. I've realized like since I want to review like the structures on my laptop, like when I get back to my room, that'll take like another some time, like maybe 10, 15 minutes, even 20. I don't even know. I realized that it'll probably be like five o'clock by the time I'm like in bed and trying to sleep. And that's crazy. Cause people are getting up and like going to work or like actually starting their day or going on the morning jog or whatever at five o'clock. That's just crazy. You know, I have an 11 a.m. quiz tomorrow. That's wake up at like 10 something for. That's insane that people. I'm basically, I've basically almost pulled an all nighter at this point. During my, I'm in my second year of college, so during my, I guess, two years, I've been like a full two years, but during my two years of college, I've never pulled in all night or like this, not even like on weekends when like I'm just like, let me just sit up and watch a movie or whatever, like, like now I'm like tired, I'm done, I'm worn out from the week, and I actually tend to go to bed early on Fridays, I'm just like tired from the whole week, but that's insane, basically pulling in all night, but now I'll actually get some sleep, because you know, from my London Psychology Club, it's good, to get to, it's good to get some sleep, like bridge the memory gap and like solidify your, your understanding of whatever you learned in the day and like repair and recharge. But imagine if we didn't have to sleep. If I didn't have to sleep, I could get like so much more done. All right, it's 15 minutes till the exam or whatever. I'm still in my room. I'm gonna leave like really soon. I just want to give all an update before I head out. So it's gonna be like warm today, like around 50, even 60 degrees. So I'm wearing something a little lighter than my usual jacket. But by the time I fell asleep, I think it was around 6 a.m. Yeah, like a little past 6 a.m. even. And the sun was already starting to come out, which was insane. So I'm running on less than five hours of sleep, like maybe four hours ish. So I'm, I've already like planned where I'm going to take my on campus now because I don't want to come all the way back here. So I already planned like where I'm on campus. I'm going to like sleep for a bit. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get to class a little early so I can pull out my laptop and like study up on the diagrams and stuff, last minute studying. And yeah, I need to leave soon because I I don't want to miss the bus. So she says only one elevator is working. Anyways, I got this. So it's almost 9 p.m. Yes, I did take that human anatomy quiz today. Um, it was all right. Like I don't want to get my hopes up too high and be like, yeah, I did great. Just end up figuring out I did like better than I expected. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I did better than last time. Question mark. No, because I feel like the first quiz was easier for sure. This quiz put me in for a bit of a loop. I'm pretty sure I still did great. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll get um, grades tomorrow based on like last time. However, the professor doesn't send out an email when she's finished grading. So it's just a matter of like checking it or like hearing from other people. And yeah. Anyway, I continued to run on four hours of sleep for the rest of the day. I did not take a nap like I planned to because I ended up meeting up with a friend and like hanging out with him. It's like I haven't seen that man like hung out with him properly in like a hot minute. So I'm taking advantage of the opportunity, you know, because people are always say that they're busy all the time. And it's like, you know, just like being able to chill and hang out with someone. That's nice. So yeah, the four hours of sleep did have me feeling dizzy, but I was fine. And I'm so glad that my next class tomorrow, like my first class tomorrow starts at 1.25 because it means I can really sleep. Like I messed up my sleep schedule so bad because I slept at 6 a.m. So with how late I slept, I guess what's now today, like I'll probably end up sleeping at a good time tonight. Maybe even before, no, I was going to say maybe even before my time. I'm like, no, that's crazy. You know myself, that's insane. Especially since I have a room. Like if I had a room all to myself, then like, I might, I might be more likely to sleep early because she stays up late. But it's like, well, I want to back down and give up. <laughs> but yeah, um, tomorrow's going to be Wednesday and I don't have any quizzes or exams on Wednesday. Ooh, so I can like kind of recharge, rest, but also get ready for the two upcoming midterms for the rest of the week. Thursday is going to be sociology. I don't know what I'll entail of. I'm pretty sure that'll be similar to anthropology last year. How I want to be able to apply like the theories and stuff. But I'm hoping that you'll put some kind of study guide or something because I don't know what's going on, respectfully. Or I'll even make like note cards maybe or some kind of study guide or something. I don't know. Uh, I might figure out that out tomorrow. So on Friday's evolution quiz. Yeah, you need to study for that for sure, for sure, for sure. Make note cards and stuff. So for tonight, I have two assignments. I already asked for, I already asked for an extension on them. And yes, I received my wish before getting any points taken off. But one of the assignments was that, it was actually due yesterday, it was a thesis statement due at 5 p.m. And like that same day, I'm supposed to ask like a, for an extension like 48 or like 24 hours beforehand, but I ended up asking like at 1 a.m. I was like, yo, um, you know, I should kind of pity them into giving me the extension. I was like, yo, you know, I have four midterms this week, I'm stressed about them. I'm worried that like, like it's my fault for not, you know, checking the syllabus ahead of time and like getting my ducks in a row. But like, you know, I've been stressed, I've been overwhelmed. You know, like writing professor or understanding. So, yep, I got the extension. I told her I'd get it in um, by tonight. And they told me like, yeah, sure. Um, like, if you have any questions, concerns, like, you know, just let me know. So, that's really good. And then I had something to do today at like 3.35 because... I know it's like an odd time, it's because I was supposed to hand in 48 hours before class and even for that, like 20 minutes before the due time, I texted or like I emailed her um, like you all, the whole thing about four midterms this week <laughs> and also, like I thought that, like I generally thought that only, like it's the assignment is composed of two parts, this one is a different class by the way, it's, it's composed of two parts part one is like coming up with two questions to ask the class it's so, you know, thought-provoking questions they can discuss. And then the second part was a 500-page summary from like a 10-page academic paper. And I thought that only the two questions were due like, you know, 48 hours before class. I'm thinking like, yeah, I can do that. I have time to do that. I can, I can like skim the paper, even read other people's summaries and like bullshit, come up with two questions. But then like that same morning, because she sent out an email to remind us all again that she hasn't received like our summary or like two questions yet. So I thought that we're also supposed to do the 500 um, word summary. I was like, yeah, I can't bullshit. I mean, like, I kind of can, but it's 500 words, and I want to do good, both for myself and my fellow students, my fellow peers. So, like, yeah, 20 minutes before the due date, I was like, yo, I had to um, hit her up with the pity excuse, like, yo, for midterm this week. I'm worried that, like, it's my fault for not checking the syllabus and getting it done on time, but, like, please. And she was like, yeah, sure, you can get it in by the end of today. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. 
so yeah i better get it in tonight i'm working on it right now right now we're um i think around 200 words but also because i'm taking notes right now like once i fluff up with like proper english i guess add more words and stuff like just broken um notes and dashes and stuff like it'll be much better also this is the second to last week before um spring break so with this week next week and spring break so i'm working on that 500 word summary my hair is all types of mess because for one thing it was already out of this like pigtail thing and then, like i kept pulling it pulling hairs and dropping them on the floor from stress i guess like we don't need to look at the back completely like i am not showing the back Shh. but <laughs> But my problem with writing is I still use like what I would consider I guess like twelfth my twelfth grade vocabulary and writing. Like I'm not using big words that no one knows what it means. But like, the thing is that it makes my writing like easy to read. Like what like whatever Vershana Shanti Young said, like how writers should be able to write in their own kind of English. That's basically me. Um however the kind of writing assignments I do like are like creative writing ones, especially if it like relates to um I guess like your life where you don't need to be all academic and proper. That's why I like anthropology, like for writing. Um I sort of wrote how I spoke kind of, but like jazzed up of course, something like that, and like that was good, like it was almost fun. But for this paper, um I know that some people have have already posted their summaries, and I'm pretty sure that I can look at it even without having posted my own summary yet. Like I didn't check because I didn't even want to check because I know if I check, I'm going to see that these people use big words. That's going to make me have to like actually slow down and use my brain and think. So like at least I can be like the change, the change I want to see. Like mine, like yeah, it might not use like big words that no one knows what it means, or, or I'm not trying to kind of sound smart or anything, but at least it'll be like easy to read and understand. Yeah, so, like, my other problem with writing is I tend to be someone who's, like, straightforward, get to the point. So, that's why, like, introductions and conclusions. I mean, I'm fine with an intro, I guess. Actually, no, not really. Unless it's, unless it's, like, a few sentences, it's just, like, letting you know what you'll be reading. But, like, I don't really like intros and conclusions. Come to, come just, like, okay, just, like, dive right in here. So, I'll talk about, like, I just want, like, a quick few sentences for the intro and for the conclusion. I just want to be, like, okay, I'm done. Stop reading. That's, like, a whole conclusion. So would that be beating me up like that filler, those filler paragraphs? Also, something else about writing is that since I like to be like straightforward and direct, I tend to forget to use essay transition words. So yeah, like whenever I have to write like an academic paper or something, like one of the tabs that's also open is like a list of essay transition words. Because I just need to add like a little more pizzazz to my writing, you feel me? I don't think I gave an update today because today was the day that I finally didn't have any quizzes. This Wednesday, by the way. I mean, that was Thursday because it's almost 2 a.m. But today, like, since I've been having to deal, to deal with all this studying, today I just want like a walk, you know, nature's natural, nature's antidepressant to just, to just clear my mind. But now it's almost 2 a.m. and I'm studying for the sociology exam that I guess I now have today. His teacher, this professor isn't really useful when it comes to like study guides and stuff. Like he wrote, oh, it might have multiple choice. Should I answer questions? Like it might need to just tell me it straight. Damn, I'm tired. But like this stuff seems like pretty common sense. Well, I haven't really done like my in-depth studying with the note cards and everything, but I just want to do um, passive learning, which is just reading my notes. I'm also trying to do like what he um, like suggested. Probably looking whack again, but he suggested to be able to like give examples and connect ideas and know like who is associated with what ideas. And I don't know, since um, sociology is similar to anthropology, which I took last semester. This seems pretty doable, but still, um, at this point, like the class starts, it's an afternoon class. My problem is I'm basically going to wake up, go to my first class, and then that second class, the sociology class, is like 15 minutes after my first class. I won't really have much time to like, study and stuff in between. I'm not going to lie, the burnout has kicked in. But he was like, let me give an update on the human anatomy quiz I had on Tuesday. I got an 81 on it, which is higher than my last score, which was 77. So I went from 77 to 81. So now we're trending up. We're making positive changes. We're doing better. So my current plan is just filling in notes that I missed from class. Because sometimes he moves on from slide to slide too quickly. So there's not much left. Like, not too much. And then I have to read it. Um, that's why I'm going to read like, off my notes. And that's kind of a lot because, you know, like, he writes a lot, like, this is basically like a chapter from here. 
to here. If I had more time, like if I didn't, if I wasn't boomed with all these exams this week, then I would have taken the time to um, like read the slides, so I can like really know the material instead of having to read like my own handwriting. Cause you know, obviously, like I omit stuff because I'm not gonna write everything. But like five times, I would have read the slides for sure. Um, yeah, stuff like that. But I'm just hoping that. You know, that since there's so much chance of apology, and since some of it's like almost common sense, um, like this won't be too tough, I'll jog up my memory. You know, it's a little past 2 a.m., and I'm not the type of person to go to bed and wake up early to finish my studying. Like, I'd just much rather sit with stay up late and finish it, and then go to bed with that peace of mind at least I'm done, than have, then have to go to bed and wake up early. Like, no, you will not catch me doing that. It's already 1 a.m. I'm once again studying for an evolutionary biology quiz I have tomorrow, which is not today, I guess. Like, I guess that's um, taking it one day at a time thing isn't working, because it just means like a bunch of studying, like hours of studying, like the day before the quiz, but I don't know. I'm calling it quits. It's almost 3 a.m. I made some flashcards. Not too many this time, but still like a good amount. I think I mostly have it down. I hope it will you know, stay in my mind. And I should go to bed because last night I got four hours of sleep. And I didn't even take a nap. I took caffeine instead to stay up. So, at this point, we are done. I have to wake up at like 10.30 tomorrow, so I'm, at this point we're looking at, um, what time did I say it was? It's almost 3 a.m., right? I have to wake up at like 10.30, so we're looking at maybe like 7 hours of sleep, but well. So I often take on my contacts in the public restroom, but like, if at, if at the end of, ooh, I can't speak. But if at the end of the day, like there's basically no one else there, so like I don't have to worry about scaring or like seeing as much people but I still apologize to anyone who has ever seen me like straight up dig into my eye for the contact I'm going to break out from the stress Oof. anyways I don't want to come in because we don't need to see any glasses so it's not my sleep is a lot of a mess up but I'm looking forward to taking a good sleep on Friday evening oh yeah I'm also sick from the stress because I'm not constantly blow my nose, it's not too bad, but I wear a mask sometimes. So four midterms in one week is still insane. I mean, I'm not completely insane because it was all like in the same day. It was like one a day, basically it was Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday. But for the one week of the finals, like you finals, like you know, like two weeks or three, even three in a day. So. This is just like a little unexpected. And I saw like the date on the syllabus, like oh, quiz one on like this date, but like, it just didn't click in my mind, like oh, it's coming up, and like it, it's the same day as like these other exams and stuff. So, or I got one contact. Uh, I can take out of my contacts like so quickly. Spend them in as like a little bit of a trouble. Well, like my tip for putting them like back in the box, I try to put them in like the same way that I got them out, so that way I don't have to worry about like, oh, is it in the wrong way? Something like that. Where you gotta take it care of. If, if you could get off my that'd be cool. Okay, there we go. I didn't get all like the update on my sociology exam, the one I took on Thursday. Like, it was actually like pretty good, surprisingly. It was all um, multiple choice or true, false. And I think that I might even be looking at 100. Like, me thinking that I got 100 on a college exam, that's like basically crazy, but it could be possible. Cause like when I look back at my notebook after the exam, like I didn't see anything where I was like, oh darn, I got that wrong. I'm like, wait, I actually might have that chance of getting a hundred. That's great. Good for me. I just like there's a whole chart about like how you go, how should like cram and study all into one night, how to should do it like over time, and like the chart for like how people perform better when they um spread out their studying rather than doing it all in like one night or whatever. But like, I just all one night basically. And I'm pretty sure I did great. Or at least like I'll be satisfied, like pretty satisfied with my grade, you feel me? Like sometimes I think about taking melatonin and just like make going to sleep easier. But the problem is that when I take melatonin, it's harder for me to like wake up from any weird or unpleasant dreams. So I'm like, uh eh. yep. I guess I'll just be laying in bed for like my usual time. I just know how long I'll stay in bed for I actually fall asleep. 
What has been so like how tired I feel like right now? I'm not like tired, tired. Like I could still go on my phone for like a little while longer, but I know she'll sleep so I'm not like a zombie tomorrow. But for someone who got like four hours of sleep, I'm not looking actually no, I was basically I'm not looking too bad, but like, I feel I feel that I'm like not kind of look bad. Ooh. But anyways, Friday. Friday, I guess, since it's like 2, 3 a.m. So this my last exam for the week. Woohoo. I made it with great grades as well. So for my writing class, we're supposed to watch two episodes of Friends. Like a specific two episodes, not just not just like any two episodes. And I still haven't watched a movie that that we were assigned to watch like a few classes ago. And it's like ah so like in class I'm just gonna even before that class I'm just gonna um like search up like a summary analysis of those episodes because like dog if I have to watch something for class that's my downfall. I turn on the light now. It's a little better than leaving it dark. Cause if I turn on the light above, like since it's behind me, it's gonna make me look darker. If I put this one on, eh, not bad, not bad. Anyways, this is just like me giving like a bunch of random updates and stuff, just yapping, I guess. But like, sometimes I'll, I have a few turtlenecks right now. I'll wear them, and I'm hoping that give that gives off like chic, chilly weather type fit, and not like forty year old conservative teacher. Like, shit, it keeps me warm, you know, the turtleneck keeps my neck warm, because I don't really own scarves. So, it's to keep my neck warm, either zipper up, turtleneck, to keep, like, my face warm. Honestly, I wear, like, a face mask, instead of, like, actually wearing a scarf. It's currently, like, 12-something, I think, like, 12.30. I want to shower before my next classes, and then after, like, all my classes, then I have work. So, yeah, I want to be clean for that. Let me take off my glasses because of the reflection. So yeah, like some point before my biology quiz exam, whatever, I'll try to, I'll make sure to review my note cards and anything that I'm not certain about. So like when I'm on the, so, wait, so, so that way when I'm taking the quiz, I'm not like, oh darn, I remember this for my note card, but I don't remember exactly what it means, darn. They put that in that last minute um, review. Next week is the last week before spring break. Next week, I just have um, one exam, it's for lab, practical, where it's like, oh, what's this over here? At least it's multiple choice, and I don't have to come up with it off the top of my head, because I'll be like, ooh. We have to study for that, because I have barely started studying for that, and I was supposed to start studying like a week ago, but at least I still have um, six more days. I have to go shower, like, I just want to, like, I think I got six hours of sleep tonight, which is better than my four hours the previous night. But, like, I just want to, like, rest, like, take a long sleep. Like, I'm looking forward to tonight's sleep. Because I know that I won't have, because, you know, tomorrow's going to be Saturday. So I won't have any, anything till like, 12 o'clock noon. So the way I'm about to, like, clock the fuck out. Like, work finishes around, like, for that. Like, I have class, work, grab a late night dinner, um, tie up loose ends in an empty classroom. And then come back. I don't know how tired I feel and everything. I, mean, I might still sleep like my usual past midnight times, but at least knowing that I don't have to wake up early for something. I think I'm about to be bust. All right, so it's about 9 p.m. So as we know, I finished like all my exams for the week. Woohoo! I made it. So for biology, I'm pretty confident then that I did like pretty well. It was um multiple choice. Like I think like 22 multiple choice and three open ended. But open ended questions weren't harder. Like short answers. Um, yeah, I think I did, like, pretty well. But I'm just glad that, like, this week is done and over with. Because I got four hours of sleep twice this week. And, I, and like, yeah, it really came to get me because I didn't take a nap throughout the day or anything. So, like, I'm looking forward to sleeping today. Like, I'm done with work. Um, I just want to get, like, last minute stuff. Because if, if I go to bed now, my roommate, uh, she doesn't go to bed till like, I don't know. She also stays up late, like, between midnight, 2 a.m.-ish. So I don't want to go in now because I don't want to be like that party pooper who goes to bed early, which would make her. Um, I guess I'll have to like keep the noise down and stuff. Also because I'm not even like tired for real yet. Also because I just want to like do other stuff. Like if I can, I can finally relax a little. Study for another upcoming lab exam next Thursday for one. Like you know, just to, like get stuff done overall. But you know, I made it. I haven't gotten my um sociology grades yet. That was yesterday, nor biology, because I took that today, but, like, I'll keep y'all updated. 
And yeah, we got to see me kind of go crazy. We kind of got to see me like go a little crazy throughout the week. You know, lose my marbles a little, but I made it unscathed. I think that compared to finals, they tell us something for finals, like they'll even give you like two or three finals in one day or whatever. However, however, like they give you time to prepare, like they give you a study period for this. It was just straight up like normal classes. It's like boom, exam, exam. That kind of stuff. I got, yeah, I mentioned I got sick because, you know, like the stress and stuff, but I'll be better if I take that good ass leap.